Um, yeah. So a uh, couple other questions. Um, you know, you've been doing this for 35 years, more than 35 years. You got a lot of wisdoms, everything else. What do you tell your patient who first get diagnosed with melanoma? Well, first of all, it, it depends on how thick the melanoma is. Uh, if it's a very early melanoma, a melanoma, which we call in situ, confined to the epidermis, or a thin melanoma, I just explained to them that all that needs to be done is, is this just needs to be surgically removed, and the cure rates are very, very high. And then we have our melanomas, which are a little deeper. In those instances, I tell them that the cure rates are very, very good, uh, but sometimes you need to have some additional procedures. But the important thing to remember is, is that we have come such a long ways, not only with the removal of melanomas, but also in terms of the treatment, especially if you have a very, very invasive melanoma. That is, it's a new paradigm in terms of how we manage melanomas for individuals who have extensive melanomas as opposed to these very, very early superficial lesions. Yeah, you're right on. I mean, I think um, we we talked about the uh, lenticle malignant, right? The, it's almost, the cure rate is almost 100%, you know, once you remove it. Uh, the stage one melanoma, the high, it's always high as a 98%, five to 10 year survival. Uh, you mentioned the, all this uh, newer immunotherapy. Uh, in, actually, in fact, I'm not sure if you saw the um, news release. They're talking about the combination of, uh, I believe it's Keytruda plus Moderna's virus, Oncolytic. Yes, yeah, they just, yeah, yeah. They just, yeah, they Not just the Oncolytic. Yeah. yeah, so it's amazing. So, I mean, I mean, we are doing this beating melanoma project, this book and, and web, and every day, you know, you need to update this stuff. Um, so last question, last question. 